Hello and welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. This time around, uh, we're going to look at how to add and configure multiple VLANs. So normally when we create VLANs, um, we create each VLAN separately, right? So you go to Config T, so we do VLAN, let's say VLAN 2, uh, we tag E1 slash 2 slash 1, you know, VLAN 3, tag E1 slash 2 slash 1. Um, so that works well with a small number of VLANs, right? But it becomes pretty monotonous, especially if you've got a lot of VLANs on a single uplink, um, it, there is a much easier way to accomplish the same thing rather than going to each VLAN and adding that port to it. Um, so what we do is we'll use the VLAN range so we can do up to 64 ports at a time and with a range command. So we'll do VLAN, um, let's say 100 to 150 and we'll do 50 VLANs with a single command, right? So I am now in this range. So it is, it is config multi VLAN 100 to 150 and then I can do multiple things within there. So I can tag ports. Uh, I can turn on uh, layer two loop avoidance of span tree or rapid span tree. Um, and I can, this is also how I would remove multiple. I can monitor, I can turn on multicast. Uh, so there's a few different things I can do in here. Um, I can't do untagged because I can't have the same port untagged in multiple VLANs. So untagged, you're, you're kind of on your own. You've got to do those one at a time. But uh, for tag ports, we could do multi at once. So let's say I'm going to tag E1 slash 2 slash 1, E1 slash 2 slash 3. All right, so once that's done, there we go. So I have now tagged both of those uplinks on all 50 VLANs with a single command. Uh, I can also do things like turn on spanning tree. So I can do a span 802-1W. So I can turn on rapid spanning tree on all those VLANs at once. I can set the root bridge, the, the bridge priority. So I could be, you know, priority zero. Um, you know, so... So the beauty of this, though, is it's different than VLAN groups. So um, because each VLAN in the configuration is completely separate. So it's actually configuring all those VLANs as separate entities, which can be from that point, they can be customized separately. Uh, we can add untagged ports. We can do anything a VLAN can do. Um, so we're not we're not stuck with just whatever you've configured under that multi VLAN command. You can go ahead and customize each one of those VLANs. If we use something like VLAN groups, which is explained better in another video in the topology group and VLAN group video, um, a VLAN group is a group of VLANs that has to have the same parameter. So when I configure those tag ports or spanning tree or whatever, it has to be exactly the same and it doesn't show up as separate entities in the configuration file. So you are stuck with whatever you've got. Um, anyway, so that is a really easy way. And then we can go in and use the remove commands to remove um, you know, multiple ports from the VLAN or multiple VLANs from the port, uh, tagged, untagged, etc. cetera, um, using, using that, that multi-group as well, right? So I could go in and say remove tag ports from all those VLANs or remove untag ports from all those VLANs, um, et cetera. So anyway, much, much easier than having to go to each VLAN and still gives you a customizable uh, configuration at the end of the day. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for joining.